Alright guys, we're outside and I gotta give you guys an update on the bathtub pond because this it's looking crazy. Check it out. Woo! The plants are going absolutely bananas. So I planted some Tabasco, these are some Tabasco peppers. And even though there's no peppers on here, they have literally taken off like they're going crazy. They're actually so big, they were falling over from the filter. You see how they're leaning like this? And I actually had to zip tie them up. If you look right here in the middle, I actually zip tied them so they would stand up right a little bit. And yeah, man, everything else is going crazy. Pothos is going absolutely bananas. It's growing all the way over here. Look, all the way across the deck. It's growing up the wall behind the tub all back here and yeah man everything's doing really good all the fish are doing good look how many guppies are in here this video won't even do it justice there's literally probably probably 120 guppies in here easily got some really big goldfish I don't know if you guys seen any of my previous videos, but these came from my um, uh, my girlfriend's mother's pond. She moved and broke down her old pond, so she gave me some of her big goldfish. And yeah, they're doing they're doing good in here. Got the pom pom Miranda right there. He's doing good. He's grown about double in size. Yeah, man, check these plants out. So the tomatoes aren't doing too good. I mean, we did get some tomatoes off of it, but they've definitely seen better days. Now, what I think is going on is, so the way this system I have set up is we have the pre-filter right here, which is attached to a pump. The pump pumps the water up to this main five gallon bucket, which I've basically made into an aquaponics system and then it fills up the bucket with water and once it reaches a certain level it's at the top it overflows into this outflow right here and flows back into the pond so these little buckets are only two gallons i think they're two two and a half but these are set up not as aquaponics more of just like a hydroponic system um it's really called the cracky method um, so it's just, there's no flowing water through here. It's just sitting water. Um, and basically what I think is going on is I think during the day when it's getting really hot outside, because I, I live out here in Florida, that the water in these systems is getting too hot. And the plants don't like that super, super hot water. So basically how this one is working good is this is a bigger volume of water. And so I think this temperature is staying a lot cooler than what these buckets are. So I'm going to have to find a way to tie these buckets into this main system. So that's for a different different day, different video. But today we are going to trim these Tabasco pepper plants because they're getting a little too big. And so we're just going to cut the tops off of them so they'll stop growing up and just continue to get bushy. So let me grab some scissors, got the scissors, and yeah, we're just gonna chop some tops, so, boom, do this guy, do this guy right here, pick those up later, do this big guy up here. guy right here yeah so what I'm doing is just chopping the tops so hopefully it'll encourage the plants instead of growing up they'll just keep growing bushier and I think we need to cut this big guy in the back bam got him Let's see any other ones back here 
think that's good for right now. Those are the biggest ones. Um, as the other ones grow taller, like this guy right here, and this one in the back, and this other one in the back, then I'll trim those when they get to the same height. I'm gonna let them grow a little bit taller. Yeah, man, it's about to rain out here. The, the normal Florida weather rains in the afternoon every day when you wanna do something. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little update on the bathtub pond. Everything's doing good. Pathos. I like how this pathos is attached to the wall right here. And it's just growing all the way up. It started attaching over here at first, but then it died back. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it was getting too much sun or what was going on, but all behind here is just pathos. So. Super easy plant to grow. Sucks up a lot of nitrates out of the water. Here in the tank. Check out some of these duppies. Boom, super colorful. This is just a hodgepodge of different guppies that I had into the house. So they're all starting to breed and you're starting to see some crazy different variants. And if you're wondering what this is right here, this is like a little puck light. So at night this comes on and it changes different colors. Looks kind of cool. Bigger, gray Aranda right there. This thing is huge, like the video doesn't even do it justice. It's about the size of my hand. Another Aranda over here, a little bit smaller than the gray one. But yeah, it's about to rain, guys, so I'm going to go inside. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the on the pond because it's looking good. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. I'm going to try to be better at getting um, back on the questions. But thank you guys for watching. Until next time.